Hello students, in my last video on triangles of class 10, I have done up to number 5 of 6D and number 6 and 7 are of the similar type as number 4. So, I am starting from number 8 today. Question number 8 is, a vertical pole of length 7.5 meter cast a shadow 5 meter long on the ground and at the same time, a tower cast a shadow 24 meter long. Find the height of the tower. As given in the question, a vertical pole of length 7.5 meter casts a shadow of length 5 meter on the ground and at the same time, a tower casts a shadow of 24 meter on the ground. We have to find the height of the tower. Now let PQ be a pole and AB be the tower, QR and BC are the length of their shadows. And we have to find the height of the tower that is AB. Now, in triangle ABC and PQR, in these two triangles, we find that angle R equal to angle C because these two are the altitude of sun at the same time. Since at the same time we are measuring the angles, so these two angles must be equal. Again, this angle is 90 degree, this is also 90 degree. So, in these two triangles, two angles are equal, this angle equal to angle C, angle Q equal to angle B. Therefore, these two triangles are similar. So, we can write in triangle PQR and in triangle ABC, angle R equal to angle C because altitude of sun at a particular instance. Again, angle B and angle Q both are equals to 90 degree. Therefore, triangle PQR is similar to triangle ABC by angle angle similarity. And we know when triangles are similar, their corresponding sides are proportional. So, we can write AB by PQ equals to BC by QR. Now, AB we don't know. PQ is given in the question 7.5. BC is 24 and QR is 5. So, AB equals to 24 into 7.5 divided by 5. 24 into instead of 7.5, we can write 75 by 10 and here it is 5. 5, 15 to 75. So, we are left with 24 into 15 by 10. 24 into 15 is 360. 360 by 10. If we cancel 0, we are left with 36. Therefore, required height of the tower is 36 meters. In question number 9, it is given that in the figure, PQ is parallel to BC such that AQ is one fourth of AC. If AB is 6 cm, Find AP. Here PQ is parallel to BC. AQ is one fourth of AC. AB is given as 6 cm and we have to find the length of AP. Now, if we consider the triangle APQ and ABC separately, then in that case, angle A and angle A is common. APQ and ABC, these two angles will be same because these two lines are parallel. And since these two lines are parallel, so this angle, we can say this angle and this angle, these two angles will be corresponding angle. So we can write like this, in triangle APQ and ABC, these two only I have drawn separately here. So in triangle APQ and ABC, angle A equals to angle A, common. APQ equals to ABC, which are corresponding angles. Therefore, triangle APQ similar to triangle ABC by angle angle similarity. Since triangles are similar, therefore corresponding sides are proportional. So, we can write AP by AB equals to AQ by AC. AP by AB equal to AQ by AC. Here AP is not known to us. AB is 6 equals to AQ as given in the question 1 fourth of AC by AC. This AC and this AC can be cancelled. AP by 6 equal to 1 by 4. So, AP equals to 6 1 just 6, 6 by 4. If we cancel by 2, it will be 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 is 1.5. Therefore, required length of AP is 1.5 centimeter. Question number 10 is not in the syllabus. Question number 11 is the perimeters of two similar triangles are 25 centimeter and 15 centimeter respectively. If one side of first triangle is 9 cm, what is the corresponding side of the other triangle? Here we can consider let A, B, C and D, E, F. Suppose these two are similar triangles. It is given that the perimeter of the first triangle is 25 cm 
and second one is 15 cm. One of the side of the first triangle, suppose AB is 9 cm and we are to find the length of DE. Now here we can write let triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF such that perimeter of the first triangle is 25 cm and perimeter of the second triangle is 15 cm. Suppose we have considered AB is 9, so we have to write let AB equals to 9 cm and here we have to find the length of DE. Now we know the ratio of the perimeters of two similar triangles is same as the corresponding sides. Since triangles are similar, therefore ratio of the perimeter of the first triangle by second triangle is equal to the ratio of the corresponding sides. So we can write perimeter of first triangle by perimeter of second triangle equals to AB by DE. Now perimeter of first triangle is given in the question 25 centimeter. Second one is given 15 centimeter equals to AB is 9 and DE we have to calculate. If we cross multiply, it will be 25 into DE equals to 15 into 9. So DE will be 9 into 15 by 25. So DE we have written 9 into 15 by 25, 5 5 to 25, 5 3 to 15. So 3 9 to 27 by 5, 27 if you divide by 5, it will be 5.4. Therefore, required length of DE is 5.4 centimeter. Rest of the sums of this exercise are not needed, though number 16 is there in the syllabus, but for exam purpose it is not so important. So that's all for today. In the next video, I'm going to start 6E.